What's up guys? So in today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit different. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this in this channel in particular. I know I did mention it in my vlog channel, but Elizabeth and I recently moved spaces. We're now in a much bigger kind of like condo style spot um, and we have a lot more room. So moving was super hectic, which is partially why this video is being uploaded late. But I figured since I'm gonna have to set up kind of like, you know, my office from scratch, my entertainment system from scratch, the bedroom we're redoing, I figured I would kind of show you guys at least for, you know, maybe in a couple different series or different parts, um, the setting up of the entertainment system. So this is gonna be the main living room entertainment system area. And so we moved our furniture from our last place. We have like, you know, our couch, coffee table, these like little side chair kind of things. Most of that's probably gonna change at some point, but at least as far as getting us going now, um, the big things that I guess I'm responsible for is one, the TV. So this is a TV that's already been here. Later we will be unmounting this particular TV and mounting my 55 inch OLED television from LG. Over here, still bubble wrapped. I have the Sonos Arc, so we'll be setting that guy up. Um, and then I'm also gonna be putting like the gaming consoles kind of on either side of this particular little, little thing. We're gonna be moving this table and this stuff that was kind of being used as storage to like another spot. Um, and then we're gonna set like the surround sound speakers up over there. And ideally I'll probably like try to give you guys some tips to like, you know, maximize the space. I have a couple ideas of like how to provide, you know, power to everything and kind of have things concealed. But yeah, so that's what this video is gonna be. This is kind of the intro to that. Let's jump into it. Because the furniture is kind of laid out how it's probably gonna be laid out at least as long as we have this particular furniture, I wanted to start at least with the two speakers on the side right over there. So those are gonna be kind of the surround sound speakers. Thankfully, Elizabeth was down to kind of have the couch back, though that's just kind of how she set it up, which makes having these surrounds a lot easier because I was kind of worried that this couch was gonna be more pushed up, closer to the TV, leaving just kind of this weird empty space behind the couch where the speakers wouldn't really fit in. And it would be just kind of like, you'd have to walk around these speakers, which I wouldn't look as aesthetically pleasing. But since it's not the case, um, I'm gonna try to get those set up and see where the power outlets are and if I have to like run any you know wires under the rug or something like that I don't know that's just kind of what I'm gonna jump into now and see what we can do so thankfully there's power outlets back here I didn't check that ahead of time probably should have So I have a bunch of like power extenders essentially, like, you know, power cords. So as you see, we have the speaker right here. There's one outlet. And then there's this kind of like little center area over here. And then on the other side, we have these power cords and this one, but because of the nature of how short this cable is, it doesn't let me pull it as centered. So what I'm thinking, is if maybe I take like one, one power extender and have that kind of thread underneath the couch to the center and then have all of these cables kind of feeding into it in the middle and so that that way all of them can get power and all the cables are tucked under the couch so it looks better. I think that is gonna definitely be the move. So now we have to go ahead into this ridiculous office that's like an absolute bombshell. This will be a separate video. Um, I don't know which of these two will come first, but at some point I'm gonna be going over this. Somewhere in here is all of my power adapters and my surge protectors and extension cords. I think it's in this box. So, this is a nice like braided, you know, extension type deal. That's only three outlets. Oh my God, this is 
such a mess. I can't wait till this is all done. Uh, da, da, da. I think. Voila. I don't know if this will be long enough though. Hmm. I guess we'll find out. If you guys are rolling with me through a trial and error kind of thing. I don't know. I like these type of videos. If you guys don't, sorry. There'll be more videos. Alright, so I'm gonna go set this down and let's see if I can get all of this kind of compiled into that one area. Okay, so. Starting on this side, 10 footer, much better. Let's see. Now, put this in here. Now I'll drop you guys on the other side. We can see if we can make it work. But here's so far. So as you see, just the one cable. I might find some way to like kind of have it like line up against the wall and look a little bit neater. But the cable from the lamp and the cable from the Sono speaker are now tucked underneath the couch. So let's go ahead. Set this guy here. This cable under the couch and along with this one. Actually, since this is going to be closer, you know what it is at one, two, three, four, five, six inches in. Yeah, let's see. Sweet, I don't even need the second extension cable. Throw that there. That there, put it all nicely under the couch. I'll probably do some sort of like wire management or something where I wrap these cables. But for now, I'm just trying to get shit working so I can use my TV again. Um, and this actually looks a lot better. And everything's powered. Cool. Let's actually rotate this. Let even less cable. Okay, uh, definitely banged into this. Straighten that out. Okay, now you guys can see the finished product. We have both of the surround sound speakers and they should be like identically spaced apart or at least I tried to do it by like the little notches on the couch. And then as you see, this lamp, the wire is going right underneath, along with the Sono speaker, wires going under. And the only wire you can see back here is just that one power cord. Success. Now this next part is going to be a little trickier. Basically the goal is we're going to be taking this TV down and then I probably am going to wait until my girlfriend's dad can come over. Um, so he can help me mount my TV up there. I don't want to mess up the wall. I also don't want to mess up my TV. So that, I might pro I'm probably going to wait. But at least getting this TV down, I think I should be able to handle that on myself. And then I'll probably find a place for all this stuff that's just sitting here. Um, that isn't going to be here because that's where the, the video game stuff is going to go. And then we'll also unra unwrap the arc and figure that all out. But yeah. Uh, 
player, I'm gonna move the sound bar. I totally thought this was a fixed position mount. The full motion mount makes it a lot easier to see what's going on. because it is a full motion mount so it'll be able to hold my TV out which I was thinking was what I needed um, yeah so I might be returning the mount I bought because this, this would definitely save me you know save me some money this the hardest part about this is just trying to figure out how to take it off I figured, I figured out how to make it tilt got the TV down did it in a very unconventional way and probably stupid and dangerous, but I got it down. So now hopefully I can have a better look at the TV mount and figure out how the hell it works. But I lost, I think, one, of the, one or two of the screws, which is not good. So now I need to find those. There's two of them. Oh, I'm stupid. They're sitting in the mouth. <laughs> it was just the washers that fell. Okay. That works. Now how the hell does this thing separate? I think I figured it out. Not sure. Probably didn't, but you know, making somewhat progress. I totally figured it out. Fuck yeah, let's go. Jesus. There we go, exactly. So it's these two little plates that were covering these like vertical bars. And I thought it was part of the bar, so I didn't think that you could detach it. But turns out it's not, and you can't. And so all you have to do is take these little plates and then mount them to your TV and then clip the TV and have it hanging on the top. I'm gonna lose the screws. These are what we need. Put these on the back of the TV. Let's go grab that and get it set up. Okay. Okay, so personally, when I do this type of stuff where I'm trying to mount something to the back of my TV, I really feel like doing it on top of a bed is one of the better places to do it. Because if you set it down on a hard surface the wrong way, there's chances you might crack the panel or damage some of the pixels. So just like a big, clean, soft bed, I feel like gives the best protection for it. So I'm gonna go ahead, open up this sealed up box that I put my TV in. Hopefully it didn't get damaged in transit. Um, and then try to get these things on the back of it so we can go back into the other room and mount it up onto the wall. I did an excellent job taping this box, Jesus. So 
so far so good. I don't know what it is, but having, like, moving something this nice, it always freaking gets my heart racing so hard. It gets so nervous because I really don't want to break it or damage it. Another important tip, too, is if you're picking this thing up, do everything you can to not have your fingers touch the panel because I've seen so many people like pinch the panel in one place or another and then it ends up just cracking the screen and cracking pixels or whatever it may be. Um, yeah, so you really want to avoid that. So usually I'm on this side and grabbing the back where it's like actual firm plastic. So now we can go ahead, lay it on the soft bed. And now we have access to the whole back, but we can go ahead and mount those little bars onto it. So, we want these. And that's gonna be kind of the middle. So we probably want it like here, I'd say. LG OLEDs are a little weird too, where the bulk of the TV is in the bottom, and so, kind of makes for like weird mounting proportions if that makes sense so you got to kind of account for how much lower the actual vase and mounting block is essentially so i'm gonna go get the screws Tidy. Now for the part that is by a landslide the most terrifying. Picking this thing up, carrying it over. Carefully, carefully, carefully. And then hooking it onto this guy. Now, weight wise, not a super heavy TV. But just dement, like how it's shaped, it's a very awkward carry, especially lifting it up and especially doing so without touching the panel. So if I drop my TV and break it, I really hope I don't drop it and break it. That would really suck. I should probably be more patient, but it's never been one of my strong suits. So I'm gonna set this guy up and then wish me luck. I think I'm gonna try to get like a power surge or something and command strip it to the back over here for all the different things we need to power. Or would that look good? Cause then the cable come around here. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Okay, so. I got a handful of command strips and my thought is I'm gonna take this power surge or the surge protector command strip it back here and then that way I can have all the cords hidden behind the TV I have enough outlets and I get a little bit of surge protection if anything was to happen so 
Let's hope that these are strong enough to hold it up. Okay, so we take this, go ahead and try not to damage the wall, but put enough pressure on it where it sticks. Yeah, that's on there super firm. Okay. Now we plug this into here, plug this back in up here. Now we can take Sonos power cord, put that there. I'll do some wire tying and stuff here, but I'll do the LG TV right there. Okay. So far, I think while I'm here and I have the, whatchamacallits out, the sticky guys, I'm gonna go ahead and reattach and this is like old, this is an old command strip. Let me go ahead and add a new one so that hopefully the cable box will stay on the wall better. one more for the power brick. Okay, so my camera died midway through cable managing, but that looks pretty clean if, if I don't say so myself. The TV just kind of sits right there perfectly, right in the space. And then we got the Sonos Arc, which matches like with the fireplace. It blends in really well. You can't really see any cables. As far as the cable management that I did, So, a lot of wire ties, a lot of hanging over the end of this stuff. It does look kind of like a mess back there, but the end result, I think it's pretty sweet. Um, got the cable box and power brakes kind of stuck to the side. So, with that out of the way, the next step of the equation is setting up the sub for the sonar surround sound and then also going ahead and setting up the gaming consoles, which will be setting up the PS5, the Nintendo Switch, and probably a GameCube. We also have like a Wii and an Xbox and some other stuff we might set up, but I don't think I'm gonna put those out right now. For now, we're just gonna focus on the ones I was talking about. As for the sub, we got that right here. My thought was to get the full effect, Go ahead and tuck it back here because we're going to be sitting on the couch and watching that way like the reverberations and the cable can go right directly under there. So I think that's going to be the move. It's always so tricky doing this because I don't want to accidentally cut the cable. Now for the sub, I believe the power outlet's really inconveniently placed on the bottom. Yep. Now let's go put this in place. Okay, got the sub set up. Now time for the PS5. Okay, so after a lot of work, I think I got it to a place where I'm good for today. So if we take a look, TV, soundbar, 
Then right here, got the switch with this little docking station. And then on the other side, got the PS5 controller. I even command stripped the external hard drive right there to the side of the PS5. Everything is mounted behind the wall. And yeah, so far I think it's in a good place. All right guys, so this is day two. I just figured I'd kind of do like a little summary recap video of where things ended up. I did do a little bit of tweaking after I stopped recording yesterday. Um, the biggest things that I did were one, I finished you know setting all this stuff up and kind of doing some wire management related things. Um, but the hardest part I would say was the actual tuning of the Sonos system. So I don't know if any of you guys have Sonos and you've used it before and been in a situation where you either got a new router or moved you know houses, apartments, condos, whatever. Um, and you had to reset up your system and kind of retune it to a new room. Um, and personally, I love the Sonos app. I love how easy it is when everything's working properly. But for some reason, I just always get trouble with this stuff. Like the, the items don't want to connect or it's not recognizing or things aren't showing up and you have to hard reset things. It took me a long time to get everything kind of hard reset and reacclimated to the new Wi-Fi that I'm on and re you know kind of recalibrated within the Sonos room but once I did it sounds phenomenal and I think the move of putting the sub behind the actual couch was a game changer because in my last space it was up towards the front where the TV is but I just kind of want to show you guys how it kind of turned out this is definitely going to be a work in progress so Back there we have the two surrounds and then my girlfriend's kind of doing all the little accoutrement things, kind of switching out decorations if you will. Got the sub back here, the only cable will be just that one cable. Then as far as the actual setup itself, we got the sound bar, the TV. On this side we have the switch related stuff. And so we have the switch in this little dock. I'll link all these accessories and stuff down in the description below if you want to know where to pick up this particular dock. It's pretty dope. Um, it lets you kind of house a bunch of stuff. And then I even put my PS5 headset back here and it's charging by being plugged into the actual dock itself, which is kind of cool. And I can literally unplug it from the headset itself and then plug it into the you know Switch Pro controller, which is kind of a cool ability. And then you know along here we have the PS5 controller dock, um, along with this was a cool little touch. So I got these little wire holders, if you will, from I believe the container store. And these kind of there wasn't really any situation where I could avoid having cables being shown. Um, considering that you have to plug the PS5 into the TV so in one way or another a cable is gonna go you know around this little white border but I figured that if there was gonna be a cable showing I could just have all the power and all that stuff kind of routed back here to that um, command stripped surge protector that I have but these little wire grips do a good job of kind of holding everything tight and you know from sitting back here especially when you're sitting down because of the lip and the angle of it, you don't see any of the cables at all. So I, I think it came out really good. Um, I have some plans. I want to get some colored hue lights to kind of put along the top and have it so that you can kind of adjust depending on if you're you know doing a movie night or something like that. I might get one of those light strips that go around the back or you know those bars or something to kind of add some ambient light, which I think would look really neat. As for the other video game consoles that I mentioned, these would be the two that I really want to play on this particular TV. So I decided I'm going to set up the GameCube and all the other ones that I have in my office, most likely. Um, but yeah, this was just kind of a behind the scenes of the setup. And then what I plan to do is once everything is done and finalized, and maybe if we've gotten some of that new furniture we're planning on getting, I'll do kind of a video uh, of a tour of it and you guys can see how it's evolved over time. But so far, I think it came out really well. But yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching this video. I'll have links down below to kind of all the different things that I use or that I have in my setup. 
Um, yeah, if you enjoy this kind of video, let me know down in the comments or if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, things of that nature on how you think I could make it better. If you've done a similar thing and you, you know, have some sort of idea that you think might improve the space, definitely let me know. I really like, you know, bouncing off of you guys and learning tips from you, um, as I hope you might learn some from me. And yeah, if you're interested in the vlog type content as well, this was kind of like my own little vlog, if you will. But I do have a vlog channel um, with my girlfriend and kind of documenting our whole move and this next chapter of our life. I'm gonna be starting a new job really soon. She's currently, you know, figuring out some job situations as well. Um, there's a lot of big things happening in our life and we're just kind of documenting them. So if you guys wanna see, I'll leave the links down to that below along with two ongoing giveaways that I have. But yeah, as for now, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.